All right, all right, everybody. Today we are going to be starting our navigating the interface series. So we will be starting with just how to get around the map. So on the bottom left, you can go ahead and click that button and it'll take you out of your city and onto the world map where you can see the rest of the cities and all the alliances and mines and everything. If you take your fingers and kind of pinch them together, you can zoom out and eventually it'll zoom out to the overhead view so you can, you know, pan around, you can click on the mini map, uh, zoom around, look at things, find all the cities. And then if you zoom back in, uh, just wherever you are, it'll zoom in on the map so you can see what all's taking place. Uh, check out monsters and mines and see your enemies. So zoom back out and go back to our overlay here. Now it doesn't matter where you're looking at the map, if you hit this button on the bottom left, it will zoom you back into your city. So it's a quick way to get back to your city. Um, just here looking on the interface, you can see in the top left we've got all of our fleets. You can click the down button and show all your fleets. If you click on the uh, tile itself, it will teleport you to show you where your fleets are. Um, right now all my fleets are at their destinations, so it highlights the destination. If your fleet was in transit, it would uh, show your fleet in transit. So we will go ahead and recall a fleet and click on it, and then you can now see our fleet in transit. Uh, if you click the details, it'll actually show you your fleet, the amount of troops, and the battle power. Uh, there's a couple other options. If you click on the arrow going up, it'll show you where the, your fleet came from. Uh, once you're here, you can you know, click on some details and see the tile. You can also click the down arrow and it will show you where your fleet is going. Um, this works on other people's fleets as well, uh, which you can use to track your enemies and their movements. So now looking at our city, if we click on it, there's a few options. Number one is fireworks, which are always fun. I think you have to buy these, you hardly get them for free, but they do add some special effects and you can, you know, make some friends shooting off some fireworks. Each firework card does give you a little speed up or some random boost, so it's not like they're completely useless. Um, you can choose to look at commander info. If you look at other people's commander info, it looks a little different than if you choose your own. Uh, one nice thing is you can see people's nation posts. Uh, if you click on the alliance, you can read their alliance wall, check out their members. Uh, you can also go into chat and see if you've said anything to these people. Another nice thing here is the copy button at the top, which is useful if you're president and trying to give people positions, or if somebody has a name and different characters that you don't know what it is, you can copy it and paste in chat. Um, another useful button up here is the report button, so if you need to report somebody, here's how you do it. So back to our map, um, on the left side we can click this middle button here which opens up our Alliance Elite Mines, also our Bookmarks tab. Uh, they will be sorted by your food, oil, steel, mineral. You can change the order. If you click on a mine it will take you to the mine which you can check to see who's in it. Uh, if you click on a person you can check their alliance, you can send a message to them. Uh, sometimes you do want to check to see who's in the mines, make sure um, somebody from a different alliance hasn't hopped in your elite mine, that way you don't attack them. Uh, if you check a random mine like this one, you can uh, see who's in it, contact the leader, check out their alliance, see the alliance hall, make sure they're not an ally. Um, so let's go check out another mine. Um, Go ahead and send some troops to the mine. And then again, we can click on our fleet and track what our fleet's doing. You can also just click on the fleet itself. You don't actually have to be like clicking on your uh, tile on the top left. Um, 
So there's a couple options here. We can speed our fleet. We can uh, recall our fleet. Again, we can check out our troops. Uh, if you like this formation, you can actually save your fleet formation right here. It's useful for um, some different things. Uh, you can again use your forward and backward, see your fleet's going and coming to. And we'll just go ahead and recall our fleet here. Show off the recall skill. So back to our bookmarks tab. Uh, you can mark things as, you know, just a mark, friendly, enemy. This shows all. I think you get 30 bookmarks, but if you subscribe to the uh, packs, like the monthly packs, you can get up to 50. Um, so we can just check out some of our bookmarks. Somebody made me a brothel city, so I thought it was pretty funny, so I saved this one. Uh, just kind of clicking on it, showing off some of the interface tiles. Uh, we can't do anything, no scouting or attacking, because I already have five fleets out. If you click on the city, though, kind of next to the numbers on the left side, you can see a marker, which is how you... Uh, go ahead and bookmark and then on the right side of the numbers will actually be how you share the city to your alliance chat uh, this will be useful for showing enemy cities and where you want to attack later so go back to our bookmarks tab check out some bookmarks uh, I would recommend bookmarking uh, the ruins that you use for your daily also some alliance halls all right so going back to our map overlay there are some options here to help you look at things these will be more useful in the beginning of the game uh, you can check mark these boxes to see the benefit buildings and the alliance elite mines so this will help you plan out your flags uh, you can see my alliance kind of goes all over the place hunting down these benefit buildings and elite mines um, you know not all benefit buildings or elite mines are created equal so make sure you're going after the best ones that give you the best boosts um, you don't need a hundred farm or food elite mines you want to go for those steel and mineral ones and then try to pick up as many war factories as you can so this will help you plan where to put your flags and who you need to go to war with so you can get the flags that you want. Now on the bottom left there's a couple options. It's defaulted to alliance members. You can click on the bookmark descriptions which will show you on the map where all your bookmarks are. You can click on the distribute resources which will show you the resource zones. Um, I guess the default is alliance members, but if you click on that, it will show you where all of your alliance members are. Um, just a note, like the higher level mines are towards the uh, middle of the map. The lower level mines are towards the outside of the map. So ideally, you want to be towards the middle. Uh, if we click on the little globe, it will take us out to the world maps. So you have a nation. Now there's plenty of nations on your globe, and then there are several globes. Uh, you can click and go into another nation and scout around. Uh, you don't have as uh, many navigation options while you're in here. You can't zoom out. Um, but you can check the ranking. Uh, this is useful if you're checking out like an enemy nation in Void War. Um, Sometimes these don't update very fast, so if you look at several nations uh, and you click on the individual, I've noticed that it'll show you the old one, so maybe just wait a minute. Um, and you can type in a coordinate and zoom around, which is nice. Um, sometimes your teammates will show a enemy nation or an enemy city so you just want to go to that nation and kind of type in their coordinates instead of dragging and zooming along over there um, this is also useful when you create a new city so you can go to a different nation type in a coordinate to place your city uh, we can go back to our world map Let's zoom around here a little bit go to some different worlds see they're all further along they've all got their global conquests 
uh, ratings. Everybody has presidents. If you go to the newer worlds, they don't have presidents. Um, there's not a lot to do. Just kind of peek around on these old worlds. Um, I think you can still create nations or create a city and put them back here, but um, I wouldn't join any of these. As you can see, they're all super strong, tens of millions of battle power, which will take you months to get to if you're not buying everything in the game. So, really, this is just for, uh, you know, browsing and peeking on other nations. You'll be using it a lot for Void War, uh, seeing seeing what your enemy's doing, looking at their hives and stuff. So it's good to get used to uh, going to this world map and kind of finding the other nations on it, and knowing where you're going. But yeah, you won't be spending a lot of time here. It is useful to note that if you see a nation uh, then the next numbered nation should be touching it. So I know sometimes you can flick around here and can't really find a nation, so it's kind of a useful tip is to just follow the path. Uh, if you zoom out, it kind of gives you this fun look, which isn't really useful since you can just tap those buttons at the top to navigate through, but I guess it's fun to look at. Uh, the other thing that will take you to your map is if you do a battle or if you scout somebody in the report it will give you a uh, location so uh, you can click the coordinates and it will zoom you to the position which is nice if you uh, don't remember where somebody's city is you can come back here and look and it'll tell you the coordinates uh, that's why I don't delete any of my scout or battle reports because you never know um, sometimes it's useful to know that people moved locations by using those. Uh, the last thing is your city buff and decorations. So this is the quickest menu to sh set a shield on yourself, which you'll be doing. Um, if you see an attack coming and they're zooming in, click your city, click city buff, put a peace shield on. Uh, you can also see what boosts are on your city, so that's kind of nice to know if you have an attack bonus already or gather bonus. Um, so if you go to your decorations, which is the last tab, um, you can click on the decorations and you can kind of get a preview of them all. You can also apply it there. There's a little button to tell you how to get it, basically win events or buy them. Um, city decorations, uh, I guess the description decorations, these ones aren't as fun. Uh, the city decorations are more fun. As you can see, I have one on right now for Halloween. Uh, Mechanical Dragon is my favorite one because it gives you that nice attack boost. Um, but there's all these other fun city decorations. So we'll just take a second and peek through them. Say some of these are seasonal and some are through events and some are pretty rare. I don't even think they have like the battle frenzy master. So there's some in here that aren't even shown. Um, so the troop ones replace your troop fleet, which is nice. Um, this can actually be used as kind of a cheat to hide your fleet. So during uh, like real events like Void War and stuff, I recommend always using a skin, even if it doesn't give you a boost like the dragon does, uh, just to confuse your enemy a little bit. And because they're fun to look at, but besides that, I like the little toy dinosaur. And I really like the dragon here. Let's see that dragon again. Here he is. Uh, but those are mostly for show. I think only one of them gives you like a defense boost and that's the mechanical flying dragon. So use him during your void wars to save a couple units. Uh, that's it for city. I'm not sure why my city skin changed. I wonder if I accidentally applied one, but 
again if you click on uh, enter city it takes you into your city and if you click on info it'll just go to my info all right everybody i think that's it for today be safe out there and remember this is a game so have fun and as always the shameless plug at the end of the video if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video sharing it subscribing leaving a comment whatever you can do to help me out hope you liked it and hope you learned something